So today we're going to look at 1Password. Uh, for those who don't know, 1Password is, broadly speaking, I suppose, a password management tool um, for uh, keeping all your login details together. Uh, however, it can manage other things such as software licenses, Wi-Fi passwords, uh, etc. Uh, and it's a really useful way to kind of, as I said, keep everything together. And the clues in the name, uh, the kind of whole ethos of the uh, product is you only need one password to access this whole um, library of your, your logins. Uh, I should say that the company that make one password haven't sponsored this video in any way. Uh, this is just my own personal views and I'm going to give a overview of it, specifically uh, one password 6, um, version 6, because they released um, the feature where you can now have an online portal for all of your logins. Uh, previously uh, you didn't have that and you had iCloud and uh, Dropbox integration which worked pretty well. Uh, it was a bit clunky though so it's convenient now uh, that you can create an account if you go to the website up here and um, manage all of your logins from the web um, as well. Uh, it's Also today I've done a, a fresh install of uh, Windows 10 on my system so I saw it as an opportune time to show you the uh, setup process. Um, I've got the uh, 1Password 6 app downloaded as you can see here. And what I'll do is, uh, this form is self-explanatory, you just go through all the steps. Um, and as you sign up to a 1Password account on this page here, it will give you all of the, uh, the credentials that you need so if you if you go to create an account you just follow these steps so you're a individual uh, type in whatever email address you need there and it will give you a secret key um, so you can sync everything up between your uh, devices uh, so we're in and you can see uh, I've got a mix of everything in fact, um, I'm probably going to have to uh, <laughs> block some of this out on the video. I don't want too many uh, personal details getting out there. Um, but this is just going to be a flavour. So you, uh, when you first open up, you'll see kind of everything put together. And then down the left-hand side here, you can go and just see logins. Uh, so I've got everything. I've got all my Google accounts. It's a neat one. Now uh, this is... Uh, basically for anybody who, uh, like me before I use this, you used to get all of your uh, software licenses sent to your email, as I'm sure everyone still does, and then six months down the line when you've lost it or had to reinstall something, you've got to trawl through your email account looking for the, um, the keys and all that sort of thing, well that's the thing of the past here. I've got a load of um, flight sim stuff, so anytime I download it, um, an airport for the flight simulator, I can put it in here. And, uh... All right, so just to give you guys a, a flavor here, I've got Amazon up and uh, we're gonna log in um, based on the uh, details I have here in the app. Um, so the whole premise behind 1Password, it obviously the clues in the name, you only have, I have to remember that one um, master password that you, you have when you set up everything up. Um, so I've got my Amazon details, I'll just copy my email address in, go to sign in, paste that, go back, copy the password in, say sign in, and then I'm in, simple as that. Another really key thing is it's trying to make everything as smooth and uh, secure as possible so you can also generate passwords. So if I go up to new item, select login, and then I'm going to go, I don't know, Google. Right. So I'm going to say my username is HOC, and then uh, you can, if you go down here, you can generate, if you go to this key, you can generate a new password. Right, so it comes up with it. the whole idea is uh, even if someone ties you down and says what is your password, uh, you're not going to know because you're not going to remember all of this stuff that's that's in here. But 
Right, just uh, one last thing before we uh, wrap up here. This is how it looks uh, online. Um, so you've got access to all your all your passwords and stuff here. Um, so if you ever get in a situation where you haven't got access to your phone or or the uh, PC or Mac app, um, you can as long as you can get to web browser, basically you can get um, all your logins on here, and they they work exactly the same, uh, exactly the same way. Uh, so you can copy, um, reveal, put everything in large type. Um, it is exactly the same. It's just a web-based application. I just wanted to add that on the because I knew I'd get questions. Um, otherwise, uh, but that's uh, that's pretty much it. It's a it's a basic um, app, but it's one that I use every day. And every time I do a clean install on uh, Windows, it's like I miss it. I have to install it pretty much straight away. I use it. Um, I use it all the time. Uh, thanks for kind of watching this and uh, and um, giving it giving us the time. Uh, please obviously subscribe, rate, and comment. It helps us out. Uh, any questions, uh, leave in the comments below, uh, and we'll see you next time.